Are you looking to create a social story and want to know where to start? Are you wondering how you can get your child, teen, or adult to understand what's happening in a church service or event? Well, we're going to share with you the social stories that we use for kids that visit our church. Before we go somewhere or do an activity, we do a lot of explaining with Macy with pictures and breaking down the agenda in a first then style. So from our greeters and our Sunday school teachers, an individual might receive a bag that includes information about the church, about us, and social stories. So along with the social stories that we put in these guest sensory bags, we also include an information page. On one side is a map of the church, whether it's the top level, the bottom level, uh, just showing where the bathrooms are at, the mother's room, uh, just a room where someone could go cool down for a little bit if your church provides that. That's great to have a map as a resource. Also another resource is on the front we have our picture, our names and our number that lets someone know, do you need something during service? We're available, text us, let us know. Also, we have a couple that is in charge of inclusion at our church and their pictures on there, their names and their numbers are on there. So if something comes up post-service and you have a question, or if you're a caregiver thinking about before service needs and you wanna reach out and set up accommodations, we have that available. So on that information page, you've got names, numbers, pictures, you've got the map, and there's also a QR code where they can scan that with their phone and that takes them straight to our website. So our website lets them know, you know, all the events, all the resources that go on at the church. So in addition to the information page, once you get into the actual social stories, which you're seeing on the screen, is this is a Sunday social story. So for any age, as they walk into the church and go into the sanctuary, this is what they can expect from the time they walk in to the time they leave. We also have a Sunday school or children's service social story. So if you're going to be leaving your child or you're dependent in the care of someone else, a Sunday school teacher or with a buddy or peer, they can go through that whole first then scenario and know what's gonna take place in children's church. And then in addition to Sunday services, we also have a midweek Wednesday children's church social story that looks a little bit different than the Sunday one where you can see from start to finish what takes place at our midweek service. Feel free to email us your social stories. In the description below, we have included Macy's baptism social story and a link to an app where you can hear Macy reading some of the social story. So in addition to providing information about who's available and a map, you know, so where anyone can get on campus during their visit, your Sunday morning in the sanctuary, your children's service, your midweek service, you can also then start creating individualized social stories depending on the event or the situation. For instance, Brittany just talked about the baptism social story that we've created. So before Macy got baptized, we walked through it for months, what would take place. So that social story that we're also providing is something that will help others know what to expect when getting baptized. And make sure you watch our video on having a guest sensory bag available for those who attend who may be on the spectrum. If you need help creating a social story, email us at lovejoyandchaos at gmail.com. We will send you our template and you can edit it to make it work for you. Please like and share this video so that others can learn how best to support those who might be on the spectrum. Thank you so much for subscribing and supporting our channel.